ओके लेट्स लर्न अ प्रोटोटाइप डिजाइन पैटर्न एंड दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन ओके एंड दिस इज थर्ड वन इन ऑल दी ट्वेंटी थ्री डिजाइन पैटर्न ओके तो वट इज मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोटोटाइप फर्स्ट यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोटोटाइप राइट लाइक वेन वी आर जस्ट डेवलपमेंट फेज और इन टेस्टिंग फेज वी जस्ट लॉन्च अ वन प्रोडक्ट दैट इज प्रोटोटाइप तो वी कैन से दैट अ क्लोनिंग और सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इज कॉल प्रोटोटाइप because before send our code to the production before our sending to the production right we are just sending to the sit right in your github i am just giving you the basic example so you can correlate to your real time experience before sending to the production you are sending to your code sit and that code works then you that code same code go to the uit after testing and or it go to the your performance testing branch it's all depend on your Like company requirement. If it is pass here performance testing or UAT, then it will go to the production line. So these, what is this? Your code is a prototype one. Ah, uh, it may be possible. Like there is something error in your uh, like performance testing, right? Yeah, your code is not performing well according to the performance testing team, or your code is not perform perform well as per the SIT team. So what you will do? You again came to your This is your dev branch from dev to SIT and like this. So your code again came to the dev. You just say okay, I just make some changes again push it. Like you, it's called a prototype, right? But let me uh, make you understand in some other language. So you can say the prototype means you are just uh, need something uh, exact or similar object or exact or similar type of entity, right? This is the meaning of prototype. Now let's move over the. So this is a prototype, right? Is if I want to make you explain, you have a similar kind of robot here. These are the robot, right? And all the robots are identical. Here, all the robots are similar. Now you get it. The what is the meaning of prototype? And I have given you the both the examples, a real time example, get one, and this is a like basic example, okay, bookish language example. So this is the meaning of your prototype. So prototype is a creational design pattern that lets you create a copy existing object. So this these are the let's suppose your existing object and you are creating a copy of it. Now there is a very very important thing. Now. If I ask you, hey, uh, could you please just create a copy of existing object? Then how would you do that? Or let me give you some more elementary math. Okay. Uh, this is uh, something with without making a code independent of their classes. You one line there is not a making any. But let me come to the my point. If I ask you to making a like cloning or exact copy, how would you do that? Let consider one example. Okay, there is a problem. These are the two brothers. Okay, or two friends. One this one and one this uh, like electricity current here. Okay. <laughs> They saw this aeroplane, and they discussed with each other, like, bro, do we think we'd able to copy it? So these are very very intelligent type of. So they told, yeah, we can copy in just month, just a one month. So the the this thing happen in our current project. Also. If there is a one requirement, if your manager told you, right, uh, you can can you conclude in your current project? Yeah, in one month or one minute we will do. so after the one month what happened they took exactly one month and they build a project this one they copy exact aeroplane they build a product like this so now you can tell me this is a actual aeroplane and this is your copied one so there is an some difference right you haven't copied uh, you haven't copied perfectly right and this person is perfect no idiot this is not perfect <laughs> Because like uh, this is a actual one and this is not a, this is just like a rubbish. Okay, so now you got it right. When we are coming to the cloning or copying something, we can't do a perfect right. Uh, if you copy something uh, in your exam also from, so if your friend, uh, it's happened sometime. If your friend get a hundred numbers, like ninety numbers, your friend get and you will get a hundred number sometime. But in ninety cases, ninety percent cases. Like that person is written a hundred percent, and you able to write a eighty. So copy is not always perfect. So let's now let me jump to the Java part, okay? Because we are doing a uh, like coding implementing. 
so when you come to the java so this is a problem you have an object okay and you want to create an exact copy of it you have one object right and you are having different member in your uh, whole object you want to copy it exact copy okay i don't want any 80% or 90% i want an exact copy so how would you do that i if i you you ask me then how i will do that if i don't know the design pattern what i will do i will just call a one uh, i will just create a one method first i will create this existing object right i have already this method now i will go and i will create a new object like with a new keyword and set each and every data members in it and give the object okay right this is a very best approach right just think once right i want you to think once and then let me do the answer so pause the video and think once okay if you have think now let come to the approach so first what you will do you have to create a new object same class then you have to go through the all the fields originally an object and copy their values to over new object this the approach which we have discussed till now but let me tell you one thing this is very worst approach okay in this approach this is nice but but there is a catch now think again not all object can copied at the way because jo way humne socha hai aapne the way we are thinking like it is not work all time because in our current real time project this is not a kid project which we are making in our, like my own laptop when we are working in a company object fields may be private and most of the time we are private only and not visible to the outside right if objects are not visible to the outside of the my class then how will you make a copy right? so that's why this design pattern came in a picture but let me tell you one thing in java you can just uh, achieve this thing by cloneable uh, interface okay if your any class is accent or implement uh, sorry yeah if this is impl uh, interface to implement that cloneable interface you can able to clone the object okay and it's having one map the clone okay now let me come to the my coding implementation and i'll i make you understand what i am doing here so this is your shape class okay and this is x and color so i want to make this is a basic practice of i want to make a two shape okay and in both the shapes there is something common properties like x y or color so why should i do my baller plate code in all the classes again and again so that's why i want to create a different class so i that's why i create a shape that is my parent class because if someone uh, just extend this class these three properties automatically just over it in that a three property automatically conclude in that now now two more important point this is default constructor without parameter just check this one so whenever you are using this clone uh, design pattern would have design pattern this approach you have to follow in every class this is very simple approach you know follow this in every class what you are doing you just create one parametric constructor and if you not put this then also fine just you are checking your current uh, object which you are passing and just setting all the property whatever you have just defining on in inside the class came to the clone method make it abstract because i want uh, someone who extend my this shape class give the implementation of clone method okay this perfect now you know that right we are using equals method if you don't use equals method it will be directly responsible to i compare my reference variable but i don't want to compare my reference variable so what i do okay if my object is shape if agar koi object pass kar raha hai if someone is passing object if instance jo pass ho raha hai is equals to the shape object right, then it should be false not equals to otherwise just take it out and shape dot x equal equals to shape dot y equal equals to and we are comparing all the property same thing we will do in the child class circle all the x y already available here and this is a parametric 
don't matter you are giving a implementation of it exact same you have to give in each and every method how we will do that pass the current object okay just clone if someone just uh, invoking your this clone method you call the new parametric method. okay and this is called super and super is your which shape class and shape class perform their own responsibilities and this class perform their own responsibility done now equals method understand it same exact object instance circle then it's okay uh, what you have to do just compare both the properties uh, one property which available same thing i have done here rectangle we will discuss a client uh, in just a moment. width parametric constructor clone and equals now came to the client okay what i am doing here just i am just calculating uh, I am just using two linked list uh, parallelist here, not linked list. One is shape and shape copy. Okay, this is not fancy or any complex. You have idea about it. In circle, I am just uh, giving a value 10 radius. Now, here I just add this to the array list. Just see very carefully. I am just cloning an object of it. I am not doing a single done object. Just remember this. I am cloning it. So object reference may be the properties will be same. That's called cloning and identical object. And I'm shaving and like save it. Again, I'm just uh, creating a rectangle object and I'm passing to that clone and compare. So this is a very basic method, but I'm doing here. In this line number 30, I'm just making a clone of each and every object which adding into the shape which I have added here to circle and one rectangle and I'm checking here but I'm checking uh, I just put it the SOP for your uh, like you will be understanding in, in bit detail that's right now if I remove these two now see just taking out the object the object always should be a uh, not comparable like, uh, reference of uh, always be a different because this equals operator irresponsible to compare a reference Difference also defined. Now it will say the shape are the different object, obviously, but they are identical. This will check equals, and you can say that right. If someone is having equal, then it is checking. Yes, it is having a rectangle. It is checking a property of this width and height. Right? Now you got it. Let me run your program. I know if you are learning this first time, then it will. Okay, but uh, if you don't understand it, just uh, watch this video once again. You will be getting it. Not a problem. If you are getting after watching two three times, also it's okay. I have uh, learned all these uh, design patterns twenty more times. So you can say this zero object and they are identical. Okay, shape object they are identical. Shape object they are identical. Why they are identical? In line number thirty two thirty three, okay, you are just clone each and every uh, three object are identical. So I hope you learn this and you I will see you in the next video.